This program is about unsolved Etika mysteries. Whenever possible, the actual YouTube footage has participated in recreating the events. What you're about to see is not a news broadcast, but this is a rocket ship. On October 24, 2018, YouTube user Rumble Viral uploads a video entitled Super Clear Footage of UFO in Quebec Caught on Camera. What this footage claims to show is nothing short of extraordinary, but why then is the comment section in an uproar? Between roughly 2550 and 2490 BC, the famed Pyramids of Giza were constructed. Originally thought to serve as tombs for pharaohs and their queens, History Channel experts now theorize that their true purpose lies in the stars above. Meanwhile, chaos breaks out in the comments below. May 15, 2019. Canadian politician Ted Cruz goes on Twitter to complain that everyone is making fun of him for suggesting we worry about space pirates. In response to these complaints, everyone makes fun of him all over again. But could it be that there's something much more nefarious lurking out there in space than space pirates themselves? Well, I'm not sure, but I am gonna make fun of Ted Cruz real quick. Even though you're a goofy lizard person with a beard that looks like you just wanted an excuse to finally crack open that jar of pubic hair you've had sitting around and glue it to your face, I don't think you're crazy because I'm a space pirate. Yarr, give me your moon rocks and tweet. Well, that's one case closed, but plenty more to go. Join me, and perhaps today you can help solve an Etic mystery. Mm. A beautiful day in Quebec takes a turn for the unthinkable when an unidentified flying object enters the airspace above one discerning family who happened to be equipped with a cell phone camera. But what secrets lay hidden in this footage? We must look now to the comment section below for further insight. The camera shake is giving me anxiety issues. Are you filming from a trampoline? <laughs> oh my god, hold the fucking camera still! Next time let the person without Parkinson's hold the camera. I hope the person shooting this video fully recovered from his epileptic seizure. Oh, it's si a... Oh, it's too beau. It's too beau. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you holding the camera with chopsticks? Jesus Christ, I feel like I've just got off a roller coaster. I'm gonna be sick. Great footage while horseback riding. Uh, he didn't know how to use the zoom on his camera, so he kept throwing it in the air. Stop swinging your arms everywhere, I can't see anything! Shaky camera. It's a time rift! Well, that didn't solve a goddamn thing. I guess it's gonna have to be up to us. Yo, this video was so fake it pretended to be my friend and then talked shit about me behind my back. I tried busting a nut to this because I get off to things that make me dizzy like roller coasters and poorly filmed UFO footage on YouTube that's probably 15 stolen re-uploads away from its original source. Also, car accidents make me climax almost immediately, but that's neither here nor there. Long story short, this did nothing for me, so I went and banged the Mylar balloon and then let it float away into a nearby park where a bunch of assholes mistook it for a UFO. And post! We may never know what was in the sky that day, but with this comment section in an uproar, perhaps the true lesson here is never make promises in the title of your YouTube video if you don't intend on keeping them. All right, I'm fucking done with this location. Let's get out of here. Next location. Update. Last week on Unsolved Etika Mysteries, we showed you the case of the movie Loquisha about a man who pretends to be a black female talk radio host. Next call. Hi, Loquisha. My name's Dan. No, it ain't. Excuse me? I can tell you lying right off the bat. How can you tell? Okay, stop. Loquisha don't play that. Since then, the movie has been released on streaming services and is currently sitting at a meager three stars on Amazon. So let's give it a quick five star review and pump that up. Oh girl, I took a Loquisha out my butthole when I saw what this movie was about. Pretty sure the last time we canceled someone this hard was when we dumped Osama Bin Laden off a boat. Anyway, does Amazon let you draw ding-dongs? <laughs> oh yeah it does! And post! Next, on Unsolved Etika Mysteries, a famous UFO sighting makes it to the news, but could its comment section be the scene of a grisly crime when we return? This lesson is brought to you by verve.co slash big money. Oh yeah, buddy, cheesesteak day. Oh yeah. You wanna watch something while we eat? Oh yeah, let me put on Verve. What's Verve? Mm, well, I'm talking about brv.co slash big money. It's like a streaming service that offers a bunch of online channels. They're all really popular, you should check it out. Oh, tight, tight. Oh yeah, dude, look at that. You got Crunchyroll, in case you're like an anime fan. And then there's Shudder, which is some of the top horror picks. Last Drive-In was Joe Bob Briggs. That dude's hilarious. Hosts those uh, horror movie nights. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad he's back. Yeah, man, and that's only two of the channels. Just... 
You see, we also got Curiosity Stream for your documentaries. Uh, Nick's plot. That's got all the childhood cartoons in it, like Rockland's Modern Life. Come on, are you kidding me? And there's Verve Select for, you know, hand-picked shows from Verve, including Verve exclusives. Oh, my brother, my brother, and me. I've been looking for that. Only on Verve.co slash big money. Why you keep adding big money to the end of that URL? That's my referral link, in case you sign up and want to get 30 days free of Verve Premium. Hey, man, I could swear I just had, like, one bite of a cheesesteak left a second ago. Nah, you got a whole cheesesteak there, pal. Oh, man, I've been eating it this entire time. Have, have you not seen me eating it this entire time? I No. I think my cheesesteak grew back. <laughs> yeah, right. <gasps> Ooh! How <laughs> much? you can watch your favorite stuff offline on your iOS or Android device. Plus is on Roku. Yes! It grew back again! Ow! Why is this happening? I... I don't know. We might have infinite cheesesteaks. Well, that's gonna save me a lot of money. Oh yeah, for the price of one cheesesteak a month, you can go to verve.co slash big money right now and get yourself one free month of Verve Premium, which gives you unlimited access to must-have channels, ad-free viewing, and first dibs on new content. Seems to me there's something for everybody on vrv.co slash big money. Perfect for family night, date night, or cheesesteak day. <laughs> 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 You know, I, I'm actually starting to feel pretty full, man. Oh, yeah, dude. We've eaten a lot of cheesesteaks. Let's put these in the fridge or something. Yeah, I'm done, man. I can't do this anymore. But thanks for showing me Verve.co. Hey, uh, this little piece of cheesesteak that I dropped on the ground earlier also grew back. Does every piece you pull off grow into a full cheesesteak? I guess so. Oh, but if our stomachs are full of pieces and the pieces grow back, then... <laughs> Sorry, Sean. I got his cursed cheesesteaks. Uh, it's okay, man. I love cheesesteaks. Okay. Come get your fill with one free month of Verve Premium at verve.co slash big money for when you want quality and quantity. The Phoenix Lights incident is one of the most widely reported UFO sightings, with over 300 eyewitnesses and video evidence showing a strange pattern of lights hovering over the city. Here we see the 19 year anniversary of the Phoenix Lights from a Phoenix based news program. 19 years ago this March, thousands of people saw what they believed were UFOs hovering over the valley. But were they really UFOs or just flares? According to this comment from YouTube user RJ Zander, Christ woman, what is with that hairdo? Starting at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and continuing all the way until 5.30 the next morning. YouTube user RJ Zander returns once again to shed light on this subject. When I die, I hope I drown by drowning face down in Cary Lake. And the lights do not move. Of all the questions to ask, surely the most important is, who is RJ Zander? This comment about drowning face down in Kerry Lake seems like a clue, but after further investigation, we now know that Kerry Lake was in fact the name of the female reporter in this footage. You know, we're trying to cover this. We don't know what it is, but people are saying it was a spacecraft. This was the last anyone's ever heard from RJ Zander. Now watch as I cordon off this comment section as an act of Etika crime scene. Wow, it's so fun to discuss UFOs visiting our planet, especially in a time when everyone has a camera and can capture strange objects in the sky. Whether it's real or not is beside the point to me because of all the weird, mysterious conspiracies out there, I think UFOs are just about the only one that doesn't get you kicked out of parties when you bring them up. I should know too, I got ejected from my own sister's wedding when I made a whole toast about how I really hope QAnon is a girl, cause if not, then I'm definitely gay. Nobody thinks UFOs are offensive, but I say one quick thing about Sandy Hook at my friend's barbecue and now he won't talk to me anymore. If I call the earth flat, people call me stupid. If I say big those globalist bankers run everything it somehow makes me an anti-semite but ufos man everyone's got a ufo story and that's why it is the perfect conspiracy theory well that and pizzagate because the pizza place by my house can't make a pie for shit and they've been in business for 50 years so there's no way they're staying afloat without a kid dungeon in the basement and post as it stands rj zander is still on the loose criticizing haircuts and saying odd things that could be taken in a sex way it remains an unsolved etika mystery Update. In May of 2019, RJ Zander's body was found after drowning face down in Cary Lake. There are no suspects at this time. Also, the Phoenix lights were flares. 
The most convincing proof of an actual UFO invasion has actually already happened in our lifetime on none other than the History Channel. The History Channel was meant to be a paragon of knowledge, both educational and entertaining. But somewhere along the line, aliens got involved and slowly but surely have assimilated the entire programming of that channel into bullshit like this. Ancient aliens, what are the pyramids? History. Christopher Dunn is theorizing that with resonating galleries, the pyramid shot a microwave out of one of the shafts. This sucks, I hate it. That's right, the aliens are now taking credit for building the pyramids. I know we try to keep an objective tone here on Unsolved Etika Mysteries, but fuck you, we all know those were built by slaves. And once you started up this power plant, it, it would have gone on for years, decades, even hundreds of years without stopping and creating the microwave. I was there, he is lying. I say time machine, 100. Egyptians built the pyramids, archeologists found the graves. There are no Jew slaves. Moses was a thief and a liar. He stole the ark before he left Egypt, taking free power from the world by nuke Israel. Oh, good. But if the Great Pyramid was actually a power plant producing energy, was it doing it alone? And are there any clues that could tell us what all of that energy was being used for? If you have any information as to where all of the History Channel's missing content is hiding, please contact us at 844-LARGE-MONEY. And if you don't mind me, I'm gonna leave a real humdinger of a comment. Why, I think that the pyramids were made by the giants and with the columns of trunk-cutted trees and that they were petrified like the Tower of the Devil. Why? Another stone source for everything that has been built of stone throughout the planet. There is no other source. More than that, out of all the trunks with the structure and columns cut ancestral trees and that are petrified by moisture. That insurance was that of the Deluvio. Why? And already use them to build what is and there. I think that, and I do not think that I have any day to change my opinion. All your history stinks. And hit it with some emojis and po Oh, fuck, someone else already posted the same exact thing. Oh man, I hate it when that happens. God damn it, what are the chances? Well, pff, gotta post it anyway. Well, there you have it, you little etiquette detectives. Another few tales of the unknown for you to ponder, still unsolved to this very day. All we know is that the answers are out there somewhere. And my penis is in here. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh God, Jesus Christ, has that been behind me the whole time? What the fuck? Next week on Unsolved Etika Mysteries, we're gonna figure out how you guys got a hold of this video. Oh. The hell was that?